Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new story video, and I just gotta say first off that you guys have been giving me so much support on these story videos. There was like 10,000 likes on my last video. You guys have just been going fucking insane, so big shout out to you guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, without further ado, let's get into the story. It gets pretty intense. So anybody here that drives or is learning how to drive knows that road rage is actually a fucking thing, and it's for good reason too. If you just bought a brand new car, and some fucking dumbass cuts right in front of you and almost causes a car accident, you're going to be pretty angry, right? So it's justified to be mad, but it is actually a real fucking thing. Like, if you're about to learn how to drive, understand that you're going to get flipped off a few times before you actually get it down, right? And I'm going to be real with you guys. If someone fucking cuts me off and starts honking their horn as well, I'm going to flip them off, okay? And that's not a good thing at all. And I'm not trying to be like, yo, this is what you should do. That's absolutely not a good thing, right? But a fucking, I want to say like five days ago, okay? I'm driving to this one place. I'm going out to eat with one of my friends. And this guy cuts me off and does the same exact thing. He honks his horn and cuts me off, right? And understand, this is not in the fucking parking lot and we're just, you know, he cuts me off and takes my parking little lot or whatever. This isn't fucking, you know, we're both turning into Taco Bell and he cuts in front of me. This is on the freeway going like 80 miles per hour, okay? So this is pretty fucking intense. He honks his horn and cuts right in front of me and almost causes a massive car accident, okay? So as I just said before, this happens and I fucking flip him off, okay? Now I didn't yell, fucking fuck you or anything like that. I just flip him off and honk a little bit, right? Apparently he saw this when I when he, you know, cut in front of me and he turned to the other lane and, you know, kind of braked it up. So we're like, we're literally going in a parallel line right now and he starts fucking yelling at me, okay? So I don't know what he's really yelling at me because we're both going at like 80 miles per hour, but he's fucking mad. It's very obvious, right? And at this point in time, I turn and I get a good look at this guy. And I don't want to say he looked like a serial killer, but holy shit, he looked like a serial killer. His whole fucking head was shaved bald. He had tattoos all over the place. He looks like someone that would rape you in a jail cell. I'm just saying. So this dude's fucking yelling at me. I still don't know what he's saying. And I just am like, I just look at him and I'm like, you fucking cut me off. Like, that's all I can really say, right? And uh, he, he presses on the brakes and starts following me, just straight up following me like nuts to butts. He's right behind me following me, right? Now, understand, when he was talking all that shit, he was on the passenger side of the window, right? And my friend was sitting there, and he is panicking his ass off. Now that he's following us, my friend's literally looking at me like, dude, he's gonna fucking kill us. Like, holy shit, and he's, like, looking at the rearview mirror, like, is he gonna pull out a fucking AR-15? Like, holy shit. And I'm not gonna sit here like some badass. I was fucking panicking too, dude. This guy's scary as fuck, and he's following us, and he's mad. And, I mean, with gun laws, you could just, he could just have a gun and just pull it out and fucking snipe me. Like, I'm just saying, right? And I'm definitely regretting flipping this guy off, even though he cut me off. So this goes on for another fucking 10 minutes. He's just following us. That's it. He's following us for, like, just 10 minutes. And my friend's there panicking. I'm panicking. I'm like, oh, dude, what do we do? And he's like, dude, just keep driving. So we keep driving for about 10 minutes because we don't want to pull over with this crazy dude. And uh, eventually, he just stops and takes the exit. So, and as soon as he takes the exit, me and my friend are just sitting there like, well... Fuck that guy. So after that, we take the nearest exit, we find a burger place, and we get out of the car, and he's standing right in front of us with a burger. No, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. He wasn't there. This is pretty much the end of the story, guys. Um, moral of the story, do not flip people off, especially if you don't know what they look like. And especially in America, dude. America, you can fucking carry a gun in your car. You can carry an AK in your car. It's crazy, right? You can just meet some guy, flip him off, and he'll fucking pull out a deagle and one-tap you in the head. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, leave a like if you guys want more of these stories. But, I mean, at the end of the day, he didn't really do anything, so... Fuck that guy.